All right, so uh, I did one of the slide things too. All right, this is my number one reason. This is my number one reason. That's right, that's how beautiful my cat is. You don't even know whose it is, and you're already applauding. This is my cat, Ardsley, and she's my number one reason for uh, my love of the indoors. She's an indoor cat. She knows what's up. All right? She's kind of like another famous cat, Garfield. Yes, very popular comic book cat, if you're not familiar, with a taste for the finer things in life, like lasagna and naps. Now, a stark contrast from his outdoor counterpart, who you might uh, be familiar with, Heathcliff. That's right. You guys remember Heathcliff? This fucking degenerate? Who lives in a junkyard and literally eats garbage? Disgusting. Pitiful. Gross. Now, what do my cat and Garfield know that Heathcliff and these knuckleheads, these jabronis over here, what does my cat and Garfield know that they don't? This brings me to my presentation tonight. Uh, the Outdoors, a recipe for disaster. All right, now what are some of the dangers that await us in the great outdoors? I'm saying that sarcastically, great, air quotes. You see the air quotes? They're not great. All right, feline AIDS. My cat has never been outside, and according to the CDC, is at zero risk for contracting feline AIDS. Now I know what most of you are thinking. I'm not a cat. I don't have to worry about feline AIDS. Well, let me just tell you something. There's a first time for everything, all right? So when you leave this lovely indoor theater, watch your back tonight. Um, all right, number number two, the number two threat that awaits us when we leave the safe indoor world. Perverts, that's right. Perverts. Well, I don't know, they're just deviant men walking the streets. You know, maybe there's one who wandered in here right now and asked, asked an isn't 12-year-old if he wants a beer, but... Maybe, It doesn't matter. I mean, I don't know. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. That's just the thing that could happen. But the point is, is the outside world. Perverts love the outdoors. All right? They're always going from house to house, bragging to people about the fancy registries they're on and all their sexual conquests. That's gross. And then there's a third uh, final serious risk that affects us all when we go outside. And that's... Uh, Running into Jason from college. Oh, hey, Jason, how are you? What are you up to? You know, he'll start going on, hey, hey, man, what are you doing? Are you still doing that comedy thing? Oh, stick with it. Hope it works out. Oh, me? Me, Jason? I'm a successful stock photo model. <laughs> Fuck you, Jason. I can't believe you used me as the pervert when that guy is visibly jerking off in the picture. <laughs> That's not perversion, that's talent. All right. Uh, here we go. Uh, now, my point is here, uh, another thing is that everything is better indoors. Everything. I mean that, you know how much I mean that? I made everything two words. Um, let's, <laughs> I did this very fast. Now, uh, the quintessential indoor activity, as we all know, is watching a movie. <laughs> Um, think about it, watch a movie, popcorn, air conditioning, look how much fun this woman is having in this zero gravity movie theater. That's a stroke. That's not, yeah, of course, indoors, great place to have a stroke. Who knows what happened if you had a stroke outdoors, you know, who knows? Um, 
But uh, watching movies indoors is so great. The outdoorsy people have actually tried to cop indoorsy, uh, you know, people's stees with their own version of the the movie. They have the outdoor movie. That's right. Maybe you're familiar with Brian Clark's summer outdoor film festival. Oh my God, an absolute abomination. Round of applause. Has anyone ever actually been to the outdoor Brian Clark movie theater? Yes, listen to that lackluster, unenthusiastic applause. It's an abomination. People, 500 unemployed people fighting for blanket space. Why? Why? Just so they can watch Tootsie under under the moonlight? Is that really worth it? An American treasure! Ah, shut up. This is my time. That was not planned. Uh, now listen. The indoors, they're superior in every way. It's, as we all know, where you Netflix and chill, as we do that. That's something that only happens indoors. What, what's the outdoor equivalent of Netflix and chill? What, monsoon season and chill? <laughs> Even drinking, drinking is better indoors. When you're, this is what you look like when you drink indoors. You're a dapper Don Draper guy. When you drink outdoors, you're a disappointment to your family. <laughs> All right. And then there, of course, there's the greatest of all indoor activities. I think we all know what I'm talking about. Going to medieval times. <laughs> That's right. You get treated like a literal king. I went there this past weekend. This is autobiographical. It's great. These busty servant wenches ask, you know what they say to you? They have, to, they have to call you my lord. Would you like more bread, my lord? Would you like more soup, my lord? Yes, and stop calling me my lord. You're giving me an erection in front of my nephew. Now, we gotta wrap this thing up. Listen, rejecting outdoors and uh, rejecting the indoors and being outdoors, it's just bad manners, all right? Scientists have been working tirelessly for thousands of years just so all of you can be comfy and cozy in your homes. And how do you repay them? By saying, oh no thanks, I think I'll do this instead. By flexing on a rock. <laughs> like this greasy dick. I, I hate Jason. Jason. Fucking Jason. He's on that rock. Yeah, oh that's racist. God. You should go outside more. <laughs> I was not yeah. racist. That is Jason. I recognize those ads anywhere I went to college with them. All right. <laughs> Everyone, do me a favor. Shut up. All of you. <laughs> now, let me, let me be clear. When you choose to do an outdoor activity instead of an indoor one, you are shitting on Thomas Edison's grave. <laughs> All right, which these guys probably like because that's an outdoor activity. Thank you. Honestly, that sounds like a lot of fun. Back up, ladies and gentlemen, one more time. How you feeling, kids? How you doing in the front row? Everything all right? Everything's good. All right. Uh